Tonight, a lot of people are hoping it will be a first step in finding solutions to those water discharges from Lake Okeechobee. The Army Corps of Engineers holding the first of a number of meetings to get input from you. I'm Patrick Nolan. And I'm Jane Monreal. Fox 4's Alyssa Dickard shows us people are ready for more than just talk. People want action now. That was the main message from those who spoke. And the main purpose of today's meeting was for the Army Corps of Engineers to listen. My issues are urgency and reduction of discharges. Out with the old, in with the new. And so we want to know from people that attend these meetings what is most important to them as we look at a future water management plan. It's called the Lake Okeechobee System Operating Manual, or LOSUM. That will replace the decade-old one. We don't need two years of public comment on something that everybody agrees on that we need to get this done sooner than later. John Cassani is frustrated that the Army Corps of Engineers won't implement LOSUM until 2022, after the Hoover Hoover Dyke and two reservoir projects are completed. Others agree with the urgency. They say this is a matter of public health. The only reason we're still here is because I have some hope that something will happen right now, that I'm not going to be poisoned this summer like I was poisoned last summer. The second meeting at Lee County Mosquito Control Building is underway right now and it goes until 8 p.m. If you can't make a meeting, the Army Corps of Engineers is accepting emails until March 31st. In Lee County, Alyssa Dickert, Fox 4, in your corner. Thank you, Alyssa. The next meeting will be held tomorrow at Indian River State College in Okeechobee from 6 until 8 p.m.